welcome to our channel in the last session we discussed set interface this set interface is implemented by three classes we discussed hash set linked hash set and tree set for the set interface implementation first i take in one general example and the implementation of set interface with integer objects and then we are taking some book details now in this session we are moving to the concept of list interface. List interface. What is the difference? In the set interface, duplicates are not allowed and there is no concept of index. But coming to list interface, it organizes the elements based on index. It organizes the elements based on index. And it can hold duplicate values also. It can hold duplicate elements also. This is the difference between set and list interface. Similar to set, this list interface is implemented by three different types of classes. The first two class name is array list. What is this array list simply? It organizes the elements. Anyway, it follows the concept of no duplicate values and index values along with it organizes the elements in a sequence. In a sequence that is in a continuation order and this array list is a non-synchronized class. You know the meaning of synchronization and non-synchronization in multi-threading. So, this array list is a non-synchronized class. How to create an object? Array list. Here, some class name or type or class name or type. Some array list object is equal to new array list of. Here, you are writing class name of. This is the syntax for creating array list. Anyway, you know, here in place of this one, you can write the class interface name list also, not a problem. This is my object. This is my object. Now, first, what is the problem of array list? Very simple. If you are performing some operation, adding an element at a specific position, Assume I have total 100 number of elements. If I want to perform add operation, adding based on some index, then what you need to do? Whatever the elements that are existed, all the elements are moved in backward direction. For example, if you want to delete an element at a specified position, all the elements are moved in forward direction. Why? The elements are in sequence 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. For example, 100 elements. If I want to insert at position 4, all these elements are shifted to the right. If I am deleting at this element 3, all these elements are shifted to the left. Why? In between, the spaces are not allowed. To overcome this problem, the second class is there. What is that one? Linked list. Linked list. Here, linked list also a coming implementation class for the list interface. Implementation class for the linked list interface. It organizes the elements in non-sequence. What is mean by non-sequence? They can place at any position. They can place anywhere. But some link is existed between each and every element. And one more point. This linked list is also non-synchronized class how to create like array list in place of array list write down the linked list now generally in the linked list the elements are stored in the form of node in the linked list elements are stored in the form of a node Remember, generally, if you know data structures are single link list, double link list are there. By default, Java collections consists of double linked list. That means three fields. This is called data. That is whatever the value that we want to store. This is next field. That means here it consists of address of the next element. Why? 
here the elements are in non sequence in array no problem if you know this address automatically this is the next element this is the next element but here the elements are placed randomly then how do i traverse so one node like a treasure hunt game if you are moving one position based on some clue i am moving to the next location based on clue move to the next location exactly this is the address of next element here it cut this off address of previous element address of previous element clear like this linked list in java generally we have double linked list and third one is vector third one is vector general scenario a one dimensional array is called vector so vector also organize the elements in a sequence but here additional thing is vector is a synchronized class vector is a synchronized synchronized means thread safe synchronized means thread safe class clear how to create same vector class name some is equal to new vector class name of so everything has same procedure everything has same procedure now first i will explain this array list and linked list what is the difference you understand the difference is sequence or non sequence in real time real time so wherever we are performing less number of addition and removal operations we are implementing array why if you are adding an element move the bits if you are removing element move the bits so addition and removal less operation in that case array list for example coming to uh, one amazon website so in that situation for example 1 lakh products are there generally in our cart we are adding three products or four products so customer during the customer login the customer login is created by using array list but we have admin is there repeatedly admin adds multiple products and removing multiple products so at the time of developing such application admin login is created by using linked list admin login is created by using linked list okay now in case if you want thread safe we are using vector and this is mainly used in connection pooling process connection pooling process simply anyway in our jdbc you will understand this connection pooling here what is mean by this one we have multiple processes are there organizing the multiple pre initialized database connections some set of databases are there multiple databases are allotted to multiple users for that we are using this collection this vector generally this vector has one more subclass stack 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 is a child class of vector we will discuss the stack class in our next session first we will move to this one so here for our example what we consider in the last to set example we are moving with book details just whatever it is the concept is same now in this we are moving into some employee details whatever it is understand the procedure is common okay i am moving into employee details before that what are the you know linked list is the class vector is the class array list is the class but what you need to know sir what are the methods that are available under the list interface how do you remember all these methods i already said how do you remember all the methods go to command prompt so type the command java p space java dot util dot write down the class name press enter see this one these are all the methods suppose search it returns number of elements is empty check whether an element is available or not like this suppose add all remove remove all index so different methods are available according to our requirement we will move to the methods now coming to the program here this is the program that we discussed in the last session now on the source pack one is already available new create one class 
Now, in this session, we will create employee details class. Click, right click. New class. Assume my class name is employee details. This is my class name. Within this class, whatever the things you want, write down all the things. Suppose I want public string. For example, ID of the employee, general scenario, name of the employee, designation of the employee. Now, public int some basic salary. Public float some total salary like this. So, ID, name, designation, basic salary and total salary. Create one constructor and initialize all the values. Employee details of what are the things I required? String ID, comma, string name, comma, string designation, comma, string basic salary, string total salary. Whatever the parameters you want, write down all the parameters just to initialize the value. You know this one, this dot id is equal to id. This dot name is equal to this dot name is equal to name. This dot next to designation ds designation is equal to designation. This dot basic salary is equal to basic salary. Finally, this dot total salary is equal to total salary. Now the constructor is closed and this one is also closed. TOT here type mismatch here. These are integers, integer and my total salary is float, fine. So like this employee details class is constructed, employee details class is constructed after that print the value for printing public string to string. I think everything you know under the set to string return. T U R N return. What are the things you return? ID plus slash T plus name plus slash T plus next to designation next to basic salary next to total salary. Fine. Now, this two string method is also completed. Now, coming to another package, employee details are clear. Coming to another package, new class. Here, take one method, demo list to one, which consists of main method, which consists of main method. What are you doing? Create the package, import java dot util dot scan star Imply star means the collection is imported and the scanner class is also imported okay now one more thing is there import pack one dot star now all the import statements are completed import statements are completed now what you are doing you need to create employee so scanner some sc is equal to new scanner of system dot in scanner object is created try with resource statement try with resource what is the purpose just to once the try block is completed the scanner object is also destroyed the scanner object is also destroyed try block end of try immediately what you need to write catch some exception e 
system dot out dot print ln e end of catch like this you need to run now coming to the logic so here what you are doing list what is the class name employee details is my class name under this class suppose ob is equal to null now string some s is equal to null string s is equal to null here what you are writing one while loop that while loop is displays whether you want to select array list to or link list to or vector whatever you want for that so just to what i am doing here i am writing just to this one only this one only so already that is completed so anyway we will explain see this one what i am doing while true while the condition is true you need to enter the choice here my first two option is here my first two option is array list of array list here whatever you written just to that is displayed and my second option is linked list and my third option that is my third choice is vector and fourth one is exist now user is allowed system dot out dot print ln enter your choice enter your choice so in my choice is entered what is my first choice i am creating an object for array list what is the class name the class name is employee details. I think you got it. Now, my string is array list. Second, if you select option two, then what happened? Linked list is performed. And what is the class under this class? Why I am copying? Just to, to show you the differences, what I changed. Everything same procedure. That is my intention. Linked list. And here also case 3, employee details, instead of tree set, here we are using vector, here you are using vector. Okay, case 4, operations are stopped. What is my case for? Operations are stopped and we are exiting default invalid choice system dot exist default value is invalid choice if you want you can print the message that is not a problem invalid choice continue this is end of the switch now you are printing one message system dot out dot print ln print ln operations uh, for example write the message like this perform operations on plus yes that means from this we are selecting one choice here i display some message operations are performed on vector operations are performed on linked list like this okay now now so this is fine next one select another loop write down another loop for what purpose Selecting some set of operations. So, some loop is there while true. Here, perform the write down the list of operations first to system dot out dot print ln enter the choice. The choice is what are the operations you want to add, remove. Add based on index, remove based on index. Whatever the operations you require, write down all the operations. So, just to see what I am doing, enter the choice is. The choice is first to add operation, suppose remove operation, exit operation, 
if you want you can perform different operations also for example for your clear understanding remove operation now plus slash n slash t third operation is add operation in the list we have concept of index also yes or no index e that is addition inserting an element based on index based on index slash n slash t four dot remove remove based on index remove based on index you got it now we are doing all these four operations we are doing all these the four operations and the fifth one is exist now enter your choice next once the choice is entered what is the next one switch off switch off integer dot parse int of sc dot next line of okay switch off s is the small letter integer dot parse int of sc dot text line what is my case one now from now understand carefully what is my case one inserting so for that system dot out dot print ln enter employee id just to for my understanding i written step by step enter employee id string some id is equal to sc dot next to line of okay like this read all the five parameters three four here enter employee name enter employee name name is equal to enter employee designation designation is equal to here enter employee basic salary now this basic salary is an integer the basic salary is an integer int some basic salary is equal to what i am doing integer dot parse int so read the basic salary now based on the basic salary if you want you can calculate the total salary float total salary is equal to basic salary plus you can type anything suppose 0 0.65 into basic salary plus 0. some 3h whatever it is 0. 0.3h into basic salary like this here 0. 0.65 is considered as the double value right f then only it is considered as the floating value like this now understand I read four parameters based on the basic salary. I am create calculate the total. Now, ob dot add of write down the add method here. New employee details of whatever the things you read id name designation basic salary total salary. Read all the values. Read all the values by using iterator print out all the values iterator employee details iterator employee details some it is equal to ob dot iterator of okay an iterator object is created iterator object is created now why iterator dot has next next to any element is available just to print that element system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln it dot what how do you get the next element you already know that is the iterator it dot next now this is end of the loop this is end of the loop now break Case 1 is completed. Case 1 is completed. Now, coming to case 2. What you written in case 2? Removal operation. Case 2 is removal. First to check, ob dot is empty. That is, if there is an element or not. If there is no element, 
deletion is not possible. So system dot out dot print ln list is empty. Just to print one message, list is empty. Else, else means list to consists of at least one element. Now removal is based on either employee ID or employee name or employee designation based on one parameter. You are removing the entire record system dot out dot print ln whatever you want you can use for example enter employee id for removal that is based on employee id i am removing the particular record so string employee id read the employee id from the user whatever the employee id given now we have different cases if the entire employee id is not available in the existent again not possible to delete again not possible to delete for checking that condition i am using one variable boolean initially i assumed as false by using iterator i am traversing the entire loop by using iterator what i am doing here I am traversing the entire list. Iterator employee, for example, it2 is equal to ob dot iterator while it2 dot has next. So moving element by element during the traversal. If the employee ID is matched, then only removal operation is performed. So employee details. Some object is equal to it2 dot next. So we are getting an object for the iterator. This is from the iterator. But here we want employee details. Here we want an object for employee details. So simply perform type casting. Perform type casting. Now what happened if that particular element is available? If my enter employee ID, that is EID, is matches with any one of the employee ID record. So comparison EID dot equals of ED dot ID. ED dot ID means ED means object, ID means existing value. My EID means my entered employee. If any matches occurred, then we are doing removal operation not basic salary we are doing removal operation ed means that particular object that is that particular record is removed and we are changing the flag value that is the boolean value is equal to true and the deletion operation is completed deletion operation is completed break don't confuse this is end of if this is end of loop iterator loop once we are coming out of the loop next what you are doing checking the p value if p is available not p that means if p is available or not available if not available we are printing some message system dot out dot print ln invalid employee id we are printing some message okay otherwise so the if condition is false, what you are doing? You are printing the remaining elements by using this iterator. Once here, iterator, some it3 is equal to ob dot iterator while it3 has next to it3 dot next of it3 dot next end of the loop once the coming out of the loop break coming out of the loop break case 2 is also completed case 2 is also completed clear now coming to case 3 here this is if condition this is while case this is if this is while this one is else this one is yes
the of the loop second check this brackets the brackets are very important so if a condition is okay this is end of if this one is end of loop okay loop is completed this is p this is while loop this is end of else this is end of else once the else is completed now here you are writing the break here that is very very important break here now coming to case 3 what is case 3 inserting an element or we will check case 3 adding an element based on index adding an element based on index so first we will check whether the list is empty or not I will write down in case 3, ob dot is empty, list is empty. Now, why? Because if you, for example, if it is empty, if you want to insert at fifth position, how? It is not possible. Else. Else means list is not empty. End of else. List is not empty. Here, what you are doing? You enter the index system dot out dot print ln. Enter the index yet to yet to which index you want to add the element enter that particular index suppose index is equal to integer So, read the index value. Now, again, you have a question. What is that one? If my index value is greater than 0 and it is less than the number of elements, how do you get the number of elements? You know, size. The size method returns number of elements. The size method returns number of elements. If I1 value is greater than 0, I1 value is greater than 0, end ob dot size ob dot size this is i1 less than ob dot size if the condition is true then we are adding the elements how again no need to reach now use this one in this if so i am reading the employee id id is read I am reading employee ID, for example, ID 1, name 1, designation 1, basic salary 1, total salary 1. Why? Same variable is repeated multiple number of times. OB dot add of I1 comma. That is the syntax. Index comma, the next one. Index comma, next one. Now, by using an iterator, print out all the values once. Adding is completed it4 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 clear so it4 dot next this loop is completed and if is also completed this one is else else means invalid index system dot out dot print ln invalid index suppose if it is not within the range if it is not present in the range invalid index this is else this is total else we are coming out of this one write down the break statement now next to one case four case four is deletion operation is based on index so first we are checking whether this is empty or not so, if the list is empty, we are not doing anything. Now, if the list is not empty, yes, based on index. So, system dot out dot print ln enter index for removal. You can type any message. Enter index for removal. Now, you need to enter one index value. So, at that particular index, my removal operation is performed int some i2 is equal to integer dot parse int of. Now, what you are doing? Check the condition. If i2 is greater than 0, 
and i2 value is less than ob size that means within the range only within the range only then what you are doing ob dot remove of i2 simply we are passing ob dot remove of i2 that is passed and then by using one iterator we are printing all the values after removal some iterator 5 5 5 like this it is printed for example yes print the message system dot out dot print ln what is the message invalid index the message is invalid index this is else this is end of else once you are coming write down the break statement once you are coming write down the break statement like this whatever the cases the four cases are written the four cases are written clear the point now once the last one what is case 5 case 5 is simply there is no concept the operations are stopped system dot out dot print ln we are printing some message operations are stopped on plus yes whatever the class you are selecting on that one operations are stopped break xyz we are coming that loop break xyz this is case 5 and at last default means invalid choice system dot out dot print ln invalid choice once the invalid choice occurred then break is that is your wish not a problem this is end of switch end of switch right actually what is this one this is end of loop and this is one bracket yes this is inner while loop this is outer while loop this is inner while loop this is outer while loop and after the try is also closed everything is closed save and save this employee details here we have one error check this error run this one run proceed what are the error? exception in thread unresolved compilation problem the local variable basic salary may not have been initialized basic salary is may not be initialized we will check that one where here designation basic salary so the basic salary is initialized here not a problem now in this one here i changed the variable yes here you also need to change here basic salary one total salary one designation one name one id one at the time of copy now run this code so choice is first i am selecting choice one see perform operations first i want add operation enter employee id 121 enter employee name naga enter employee designation professor enter employee basic salary for example 15000 now my details are added Suppose enter 1, enter employee ID, enter employee name, enter a designation, enter basic salary. Second record is also stored. Again choice 1, for example, 1, 2, 4, employee name, employee designation, employee basic salary. Third record is also stored. Now enter choice choice is 3 the choice is 3 
that means you add based on index it has to give one index one now enter employee id enter employee name enter employee designation enter employee basic salary now observe where this 126 is added at the first position this 126 is added at the first position you got it now enter choice two enter employee id 125 it is not available see this one invalid choice again i entered choice now 126 it is available so 126 is removed and the remaining all are displayed suppose removal is based on choice enter index for removal for example second index removed successfully everything is happened now enter the choice is 5 again if you want you can select the linked list or vector whatever you are selecting according to that one the operations are performed according to that one the operations are performed now you understand the logic here what is the logic whatever the class you are selected based on that class only my operations are performed suppose uh, along with suppose if you want to display the elements in some ascending order i want to require the elements in ascending order then what you are doing if you want if you want for example plus slash n t5 sorting based on some total salary that is based on one parameter if you want to do sorting operation now this is displayed as six exit is six now what i am doing case four c case five so this is case six under the case five i am doing sorting operation so collections collections dot sort to method is available this is used for sorting operation but how the sorting operation is performed anyway i will explain once the sorting operation is performed i am printing the results for example some it6 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 so once the sorting end of the loop by mistake i click this one so collection are sort what you are doing actually whatever you are doing in the previous one that means comparable interface here in this you are writing one interface comparable for this employee details also write down the interface comparable based on that comparable we are doing such operation now see after coming here book details instead of book details what you need to write employee details employee details object so here instead of code employee details for example assume ed an object is created an object is created okay here if you want you can simplify the code if total salary is equal to equal to employee dot total salary that means you can do in both the ways you can use compare to method or you can use direct this equal for that understanding i changed this one for that i changed this one for example if both are equal then return zero then return zero else if total salary is greater than a total that is this total salary is new one this one is ed dot total salary is already existed one written one yes written minus one 
So like this also. In this, if you are executing this one, what happened? The elements are arranged in ascending order. This is the concept of list interface. In the next session, we will discuss the stack class. Okay, that is the end of today's session. Thank you.